I'm Eric Lawler for Joe.ie, and I'm here with Guillaume Balague and Gazieca Mendieta, two Spanish legends from uh, La Liga, from Sky Sports, from songwriting, from DJing. Yes, we're in Dublin here. The, the lads are in Dublin to pre preview the Guinness Champions Cup, which is taking place in the United States, and, uh, and the Guinness Plus app as well. So, uh, lads, uh, you're very, very welcome to Dublin. Thanks, thanks for coming to join, join us and talk to me, more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Spain? at the World Cup. <laughs> Who wants to take that? <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll tell you something that happened that it wasn't, didn't happen on the pitch, but, uh, and I won't mention names, but uh, there was a player that uh, before the World Cup, they, Spain went for uh, some friendlies and some training in the United States and spent more time with his wife and kid than with the rest of the squad. The whole thing was a bit like that. It was like, you know, we're world champions, so the next thing is that we're world champions again, or at least we compete, forgetting the, the things, the little things that have taken Spain to the, to the top. And there was no way that Del Bosque was going to change the squad, because I think deep down he probably wanted, didn't want the, the, the failure, but he wanted for us to see what was left of those guys. They had won enough credit to actually be in another World Cup. Mm -hmm. But, um, but what we saw was the death of that generation. Looking at, uh, uh, to the new La Liga season, um, obviously Real Madrid, they don't stop buying brilliant players and they've added uh, Jaime Rodriguez and uh, uh, Cruz, Tony Cruz uh, to, to the squad. Um, like, do you see problems uh, in the Madrid camp? Because what are they going to do to facilitate Modric? What are they going to do to facilitate, you know, well, not Bale, Bale will be there, obviously. But um, is, is it, is it sometimes too, too many quality players, too many egos in the dressing room? Do you think they could run the risk of that? Are you talking about the Champions League winners? <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it, it, as long as they win, it, it's, everything it will be fine. But I think everybody knows what the business model of Real Madrid is. So when Toni Kroos says no to Barcelona, no to Manchester United, and says yes to Real Madrid, it's partly because of the money, but it's partly because he goes to a place where he's going to be challenged where he's going to win things and he's going to be passing to Bale and, and to James Rodriguez and to <laughs> Benzema and to Cristiano Ronaldo. So it is a, it is a challenge for any player and, and actually it's a filter. If you are ambitious enough, you end up at Real Madrid. If you're not because you think, ah, well, I won't play, I, I want to play, it doesn't matter where, you end up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Look at Isco. Isco is somebody that uh, Manchester yeah. City would, would like to get. And, and he's like, no, 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 I'm going to stay. I'm going to try to find for my Has he said that? You know, yeah, he's, well, I know Pellegrini is his former manager at Malaga, but, but he, uh, oh, privately. And we're getting no, a I mean, exclusive no. here, Gilliam, is right. <laughs> <laughs> And your former club, uh, Gazeca de Barcelona, obviously the big, big signing for Barcelona it was uh, Luis Suarez. And, uh, you know, you, when you look at the, the, the attack now that Barcelona have with Messi, Neymar, and Suarez, it's pretty, pretty awesome. I don't think maybe there are three players anywhere else as good as those three. Would you agree? Do you think it's a good signing for Barcelona? Well, in terms of numbers, no. But when you put them together, it's a different thing. Uh, when you get to a new team, you have to accept we've seen how Barcelona works in, around Messi, how Neymar have to adapt to Messi, how Suarez will have to adapt to Messi and Barcelona. Uh, with Luis Enrique, I'm sure things will change slightly from, from past uh, managers. He's played with nominees before, and Celta used to do that, and I'm sure he's got plans for, for Luis Suarez. Uh, looking forward to see that, how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. uh, like the teams that we said about Real Madrid, how everything accepts his new roles, mm -hmm. because when you get to a, a team like Madrid or Barca, there's already big men there, and they have to accept their new roles. Uh, Luis Suarez, whenever he comes, I'm sure he'll, he'll give a lot to this team. Guillaume, uh, going back to the, the La Liga champions, Atletico, um, an amazing, amazing season, amazing achievement from Diego Simeone. Um, can they repeat those heroics again, or was that just a one-off flash in the pan kind of season for them? Well, I, I think they, they found a way to compete, certainly, and it, a lot of depends on, on the other two teams, and, and if they don't start dropping points in their own places. But um, in terms of uh, the squad, it could even be a better squad than last season. Costa is going, but Mansukic has come in. Quality, uh, yeah. Siqueira has come in for Felipe Luis at left back. And they want to get Griezmann of Real Sociedad. If they do so, and also Courtois has gone, but uh, Oblique has uh, is come in. So you've got a team that more or less is good enough, but to actually competing at the highest level, again, you need to uh, refresh not so much 11, but the bench. They don't have money. And that will always be at the limitation. But uh, but in any case, it will be fun to um, 
to make this league again a league of three and, la and like what uh, was it Mourinho yesterday who said um, you know our league is not like a league of two like the like the <laughs> like the German and the Spanish <laughs> it's not anymore <laughs> <League of three. laughs> I like what he <laughs> the two lads they're in Dublin tonight and I've asked them are they going home soon they said no you don't come to Dublin without having a night out in Dublin so uh, I'm off with the lads for a few scoops <laughs>